yesterday was the official reveal of the date of the closing of the 3DS and Wii U online services. Now, of course, when something like that happens, you have to, you know, show empathy towards it and be like, oh, man, I'm going to be so sad because I play my 3DS online every day. And like, look, I get it. There's some good shit on the 3DS. Um, There's some good shit on the Wii U to play online. But, you know, this happens with every system. It's an unfortunate thing. But, you know, it, it, it is what it is. Like, I don't see, you know, the preservation society out there picketing in front of Nintendo like you know oh you need to you need to allow this or else you're gonna lose stuff because i mean you know games that pop in my mind that i played a lot on the 3ds for online you know back in the day kid icarus uprising i loved the online and that broke your freaking hand but i love the yeah exactly ruffle mutt hack your 3ds but kid icarus was fun i remember iron fall invasion was fun because it was like gears of war style on the on the 3ds but like it looked really good and it was a super fun game to play online but yeah you know it's a shame but it, it kind of is what it is and i don't know nate what do, what do you think about it it's just one of those topics that you know we went over this late last year when they announced the intention and the feeling is really just comes down to a situation of yeah, it's a shame it's being shut down for the reasons that you have mentioned. There are some gems on the 3DS and the Wii U that have not been ported and are not playable on modern systems. So titles like Kid Icarus Uprising, you won't be able to enjoy that multiplayer. Super Mario Maker 1, you can't, you can't really have a back catalog of some of those stages that were created in that game. Xenoblade Chronicles X, all that, those downloads and such that were tied to the game because that game hasn't been ported to another platform or even Splatoon 1. But ultimately, I mean, this is just the natural cycle of how the industry is moving. This is going to happen and we're going to lose access to certain titles and those multiplayer features. But overall, it really comes down to how many people were actively playing these games and it's a very very small percentage of people and the one thing i just hate is that when the news comes out is you have so many content creators who will rush to twitter and rush to the youtube channels and make this laundry list of games that you're missing out on and how it's such a devastating thing to the industry where it's you haven't booted up your 3ds in five years don't put this you know don't pander and put on an act because oh i can't play kid, kid icarus uprising multiplayer anymore if you haven't done it in the last four or five years to begin with, how significant of a loss is it to you truly? And that's the thing I really just, I don't enjoy seeing. It's just, it's bullshit. But from the stance of we are losing content in a way, yeah, it's disappointing, but this is really just how the industry works. This is how technology evolves. You have to shut down servers and features that are no longer being used because if you keep them active it's costing you money for something that a handful of people are using you know you just have to you move on you move on with new things just like life yeah i think it's just a lot of times it's over dramatized people are like freaking out about it but like you like you said they haven't played it in a really long time but i do think that it does kind of suck like people I don't know, 10 years, 20 years from now, you're not going to really able, be able to play Splatoon like we were now. And I just feel like with all these online games, it's kind of where where it's going. Like RGT said that the preservation of games is just going to be a lot harder. And there's not a lot of people doing stuff for it. I guess there's maybe there'd be fan servers or something in the, in the future, but I feel yeah, like it'd I be mean, hard. Because really, that's, that's the way to preserve these things. Like, do you know how bad... I would love to hop on to Metal Gear online from Metal Gear Solid 4 on my PlayStation 3, but that's been shut down for forever. But there are fan servers out there. There's fan servers for Metal Gear Online. There's fan servers for the original Metal Gear Online that was a part of three subsistence. Um, there are SOCOM fan servers. So if there's enough people out there still actively playing these games you'll find a server popping up in there and plus like a lot of people in the chat are saying 
it, it's not hard to hack these systems at all. Like you could be a complete novice and still do it in like 10 minutes. And I, I could speak personally from the 3DS standpoint, you get something called the H shop, which allows you access to everything, every game, every every eShop title, like an eShop exclusive title, everything. Everything is on there. Even the um, the uh, like downloadable games, like the, the retro stuff is on there. Because, I mean, technically you can't purchase those things and give Nintendo money on it. So who gives a shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to take away things from people, that's fine. But you can't get mad when people are going to emulate it because, I mean, there if there's still a demand for it. Yeah. 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 The H. Uh, Nick said the H shop is lit because you can do it all. Yeah, you do it all from the system. You literally do not have to. Once H shop is on your system, that's it. It just downloads it right to it. So it's it's great, dude. Yeah. I mean, and that's the thing with this online. The online shutdown. We knew it was coming. You make your peace with it. Unless you were actively playing Splatoon 1 every week or every month, you're really not even going to notice this is happening. Because how many people really have their Wii U plugged in? And maybe they're playing Black Ops 2. But beyond that, what are you but really playing that, online at this point? Isn't that like... Isn't that like an Activision server, though? Because I remember, like, the Call of Duty games worked on the Wii after the Wii's online services ended. Right, because that used... I was using what? GameSpy? I think I was using GameSpy, yeah. Right. I don't know how it would use in this instance, because they haven't really... Did they break it down if it's just everything, regardless of a server it's using, whether it's third party or... They said just it? Nintendo servers. The way they said it would make you believe it's everything, but I think it'll be something that people will just have to test out. So if you want to play Splatoon... For some like for some reason, ten years from now, you have to have a hacked Wii U to get on the fan server, though, right? Like you couldn't just pull it out of the box and and no, and like, yeah. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. no, you would have to you would have to emulate it. Um, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Maui, I think Moe Mo Aw says it's only first party, so you might be in luck. You blops to right. fans, so we can still play some Black Ops too, and. Ghost, Call of Duty Ghost was on there as Ghost, well. Yeah, I used to play that on there. I loved, I loved playing the Call of Duty games on the Wii, because people, <laughs> people just sucked at it more so than <laughs> than on the other systems. Yeah, but yeah. It's, it's really just a case of that. This is going to continue to happen as these systems age, and what we have now in the industry that we really didn't have in years prior is that if Nintendo ever wanted to remaster or remake Splatoon 1, they have that option. They can do that. They can bring it to a more modern platform and give you that experience once again. And from a preservation standpoint, I don't know if I really consider the online multiplayer something that you have to preserve. It's, if you want to preserve the game, the single player, what the game actually is, that's one thing. But to say, oh, the game's not completely preserved because the online multiplayer feature isn't there, that's kind of going another direction. If it's to preserve the multiplayer content, you know, let's say the maps, the weapons, things you could only acquire by playing multiplayer, that's also a different topic altogether. But this idea that we have to preserve everything in all existence, including online play of outdated games that no one's really playing, it just feels as though it's a snowball that's going to eventually turn into an avalanche for no reason. Because who is really out there saying, oh my god, I can't play Triforce Heroes on my 3DS? No, no, it's such a great game. Well, you can um, still play it on the Game Boy Advance via the Game Boy Advance link. But Medallion says, isn't Splatoon 1 online only? There, yes. No, there's a single player mode in it. Yeah, it's kind of like a tutorial. It's it's like uh, it's like all the single player modes in the Splatoon games. They, they And honestly, they even had a co-op mode in that game. So technically, you could still play like the battle like maps and like all that just like you and one other person yeah because they had the local co-op as well yeah so you I mean, I mean, at the same time we've squid. had two sequels to splatoon at this point yeah it's and it's not like it was a massive change or anything like that like because you could say oh well 
if you want to play Metal Gear online, you can play Metal Gear Solid Fives online. It's like, no, fuck you. That's a different game. That's a completely <laughs> different beast than Metal Gear Online was. Metal Gear Online was a much slower plotting experience, whereas that is a more guns blazing, you know, just just run around and shoot people style. Yeah. Game. And more or less, the online has stayed similar. Like, the, the specials and some of the weapons are different, but, like, really, I think the only reason to to really go back to Splatoon 1 would be for that, that campaign, which was really good, but, but that's gonna be here, you know? It's not going away with this thing. 